Greetings, you join us in our lovely Land Rover Defender. Look at this. Oh, he's a bit quick actually, isn't he? He's a bit, we have messed him about a bit though. He should go down a bit smoother than that. But this is our sunglass holder in our lowly Model S. But Land Rover, in their wisdom, have decided to remove this from the new Land Rover Defender. And we will have a look. And they've just replaced it with a slightly odd, in my view, um, sort of perspexy window. Now, we've mentioned this on a video before and someone said, ah, Simon, what they're going to do is they're going to put a Wi-Fi module in there. Now, I don't know if this is one of those sneaky engineers that writes to me sometimes. They have to not declare their names, obviously. Um, and I wonder if that is, but, but we know that the Wi-Fi modules actually live under this little cant rail here. In fact, oh, look, there it is. There's the, well, where is the Wi-Fi module? It was behind here somewhere. Oh, I think it's up, I think it's up your side there, Destiny. I think it's that module there. That is a Wi-Fi repeater, and I've got one over this side. All right, let's put the car back together. Right, um, it may be they're going to do that. It may be they were just trying to save cost, and maybe they didn't have any parts over. In this video, we're going to show you how to retrofit a sunglass holder so you can enjoy those sunny days, or the dark days, I don't know. You, cause you, anyway. Right, so first of all, we're going to show you how to take this out, then we're going to go over to the desk, and we're going to work this all out. So we've done this before. So to get this out, you've got to sort of put this in now you want if this is a center line here you want to go just forward towards the front windscreen of the center line there stick this in here okay and that will release the clips we'll have a look at the clips do the same on my side Ooh, there you go and um, now and in here yours will not be as complicated as mine because i've got our we've got a couple of these old um wiring looms in so ignore mine's in a and what you've got to do is you've got to press this little to, to remove this connector you've got to press down on this middle bit here okay so there's a middle bit in the middle of the connector and that will release that and that oh we've got another connector as well all right then we've got to press there'll be a little pressy bit there in the middle and we'll press that down this, this poor thing's been in and out right so that is our land rover defender sunglass holder so let's go and look at that against some others we've got right so this is mine out of the stick now this is what big shout out to steve ashatino i hope i pronounced your name right steve who sent us this now steve was he's quite uh he's on the new new defender forums and stuff and he just felt cheated every time he got in his car and he'd watch me in my videos with my sunglass holding my model s and he's got a trick v8 and he was like i could i could abide it no more simon and he went out and he said to Land Rover, look, I've got to have a sunglass holder. So they sold him a whole new one of these, complete with all the circuitry, because for the Defender, they only sell this as a whole piece. Um, $550. Oh. Anyway, bless him, he said, look, Simon, I don't mind taking the hit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send this to you, Simon, on the condition that you work out how to retrofit the sunglass and share it with everybody. So that is what I'm doing today. I'm keeping my side of the promise. So, now they may look the same, these two, but they're actually different mouldings. So this was what was intriguing me. So, and I could only do this by actually having the part in my hand. If you look here, I've sort of coloured these bits orange, but you can see the moulding is different. And actually this rear sunglass casing here on this one is moulded in. So I, I was a bit of a loss as to, as to how you could retrofit or not have it. And I, I wasn't sure whether this moulding was there and it was covered. Um, and it's actually completely different. If you look at the side here, these where you've got holes for cog locations, there's something you can see that there. And when you look on this side, you can see the moulding is different. Okay, so then I have to think, but you can see this is L663 because you can see this says overhead console for the L663, sunglass, maybe, sun, to be or not to be in this case. Um, and it's got the emergency call and it's, um, it's in jet, it's in black. So on the Defender, there are two colours. There is jet black and there is oyster. Um, and we'll look at that again in a minute. Right. And you'll notice we already know a little bit about Steve. Steve's flash. Look, he's got a sunroof. He's got whatever. Oh, he's got a sunroof blind as well. But the Stig, bless him, he hasn't got any such trickery. But you can swap these bits over. But we'll get into that. Right. So, what? So, Steve said, how can I, without spending, or how can other people upgrade? 
Now we have worked out a kit. So the first part of this video, I'm gonna show you how to fit our retrofit kit. These parts that can be easily fitted to this and you are away to go without changing anything on your car any the wiring. The second thing is I will tell you where you can buy which parts to buy on eBay, cheap, second hand, and how you can swap your electronics over from your one of these into one of these. So we'll do that as well, but that'll be next. So first, first off, you've taken your console out of your car as we have just demonstrated, and you have this. Right, so we now need to fit our retrofit kit. So our retrofit kit consists of a friction damper that's white. There you go, a little friction damper. It got a little cog, the screen. It has got the fold down thing. Now, note this has got a spring on one end, okay? Be careful with that, okay? We'll need to look at that. And it's sort of felt line, look, smooth. We like that. And then it's got the rear sort of housing. It's got some sort of tricky little, with some little holes in. No idea what they're for. Right, so we are gonna work out how to fit that, right. So here we go. So this is our, now you can see, um, you can see that it, it's got these two long tabs at the back. I should have covered them orange. So they're not gonna come out easily. It's the bits at the front here. So this is clipped in at the front. Now you can sort of, there's enough flex in the, to just push it down and push it up. So if I push the frame away from me, I can just pop that up. Now it catches, where's it catching now? Ooh. Oh, have we gone the wrong way? I've got to go. I've got to go down. You pull the frame away and go down. Look, Whoa. there you go. And then it just and then and then these rear little tabs pull out. There you go. So you can see that's how that pulls out, and that is just a bit of shiny plastic. Okay, so we don't need that anymore. Right, we need to fit this cog now. Luckily, you can see, courtesy to Steve, that look they they put the the place here where the cog goes. So we have managed to source these cogs these were tricky to find and these insert they've got little hooks on the end can you see this little hook there this little sort of whoop. so we've got to, we've got to go from the outside in it doesn't matter which way you get it but these two hooks have got to line up with the lit the two the two points you've got one here and one here can you see those if i put my finger behind it destiny mm -hmm. yeah so right so you get this little cog bit and you put it in there, you line it up. Now you may have to get the bottom one in first. Yeah, some of this may be tricky, but, and then you might have to just push on that top one just to get it to go in. Now, on the genuine ones, you'll notice that, let me see if we've got a genuine one here, that on the cog, no, that's mine. On the cog, look, this is it inserted. Now they cover it with a load of hot melt. So they may be liable to pop out. So it may be a good idea, as Land Rover did it in the factory, just to put some hot melt or adhesive over that. We're not gonna do that. So we've now got the cog in, we've put our hot melt glue on, or you should do it at home. The next thing we need to do is to put this little damper cog in this hole here. So that should just pop in there. Whoop. There you go, and that should be free to return, free to turn. And you can put a little bit of white grease on there as well. So most of them from the factory have a little bit of white grease, okay, just to let it rotate freely. And that provides the locking mechanism. Without that, it would just open and you'd close it and it would flop open again. That's the bit that gives you the sort of keeping it up. Right, now we get to the slightly tricky bit, okay? So we have got the sunglass holder and it's got a pivot pin here with a spring around it and a pivot pin here. And basically, we've got to get the two pivot pins in, but the tricky bit is the spring. So when you get it, the spring will be sort of resting here, and you need to just release that. Okay, so there you go, it's released. And what we've got to do is we've got to get that spring and we've got to wind it anti-clockwise as you're looking for it, as you're looking at it, sorry, backwards. And we have got to get the spring to sit in this little groove here, I've tried to highlight the edges of it, but you, there's a little physical groove that the spring has got to sit in. Now it's a bit tricky to do it and film it, but what I've got to do is I've got to, well, I'm gonna get this sort of in position. Let me get that here. So I've got to get the spring now, go anti-clockwise, right? I'm gonna try and get it in my nail. 
Okay, so I've got the spring. It's held anti-clockwise. And I'm going to try and get that in the pivot in the hole. I can see it there. Okay, now hopefully that spring has caught on the edge and it's in the groove. So you should be able to see it. Let me just put a bit of light on that. See if we can see that. Maybe not, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, can you focus on that? Can you see that's where the spring should be located there? Okay, right. Okay, and now what you've got to do is you've got to keep all that tensioned, and we've now got to get the other pivot pin in the hole the other side, and we've also got to get the cog over. So what we can do is we can just deform the case. Okay, we can, we can stretch it enough right, and get the, get the pivot in. Make sure the cog goes in. Okay, and then we should be done. It's a little bit fiddly. Right, so it should. Now we've had to put a bit of WD-40. We've got some silicon or you can put some white grease. Now, first of all, we tested it and we thought it's not working, but actually this case is catching here and it does work. And when we put the cover on, it will be fine. There you go. So don't panic yet. Right, so as I was just saying, the final piece is this cover and this cover holds the frame all good and gives you a little furry uppermost lining. So if you, the one side's got these three ribs I've colored orange, see the other side hasn't. And the three rib side goes to this outer face, which will be the, well, rear face in the car, but the face closest to you in the car. Um, now you've got these two little arrow location pig, pigs, pieces, pegs, that need to come inside of this. So you need to sort of fit it tilted this way a little bit. Okay, and make sure we get those. I want to still be able to see those orange lines. Get that one there. And it's tight on these metal clips at the side. So we need to push it there, right? There. Oh, see this one here, it started to go the wrong side of the orange line. So we need to make sure we can still see that orange line. Okay, and push that one in. Okay, and then we should be able to push the back location pegs in. Okay, and that should be it all done. So if this has got any bow out here, you, you haven't got these pins here located. We know that, don't we, Destiny? Because we did that. Okay, so there we go. There we have it. And that should now be our overhead sunglass holder. There you go. So you gotta, you got to try it upside down. There you go. All retrofit. It's a bit fiddly, but I'm, I think you probably do it better than I can. Um, so right, so that is how to retrofit it with that kit. Right, we'll rattle through the last bit quickly. Right, so this is the overhead console from my Defender, right? This is the overhead console from an L551 and Evoke 2. And this is exactly the same as Steve's. So this is the one from Steve, look. And you can see that they're very much the same, but as I was saying, I wouldn't recommend using the electronics. So the other way of doing it is you could buy one from an Evoke, or this is an Evoke one, the Evoke one, and they're all the same molding, okay? All the Discovery 5 is the same, and the Discovery Sport is the same. So you could buy another molding, and I'm gonna show you now how to strip it down. I had to strip one of these down completely and swap the electronics over. Okay, so here you go. Let's do this quickly. So you need a Torx T10 screwdriver. Okay, and I've colored the screws orange. So first of all, we're going to take off this plastic casing, which is one, two, three, four. And that will remove the plastic casing. Torx T10. Now all the screws I'm going to take out are all the same. We've got we, right. If you do buy a second hand one, be careful with the beige colors because Land Rover, in their wisdom, made the Discovery Sport in these two very similar colors. Um, so make sure you get one in the oyster color, that's the color you want. I don't know what they called the other one. Can you remember? No, smoke gray or something. Let's whoop those four out. So the actual frame we'll see is all interchangeable, but the electronics is specific really to the vehicle. So this frame is now loose. You can see that's loose, but we need to remove these little ultrasound sensors and they just clip in. So if you pull the wire gently, okay, you see that comes out. 
we do that one we can just pull those up and they just clip in now this one was a bit trickier this one's got two little it's got two little pegs one each side little locating pins that you sort of have to spring apart there All right and that's that out now now you can remove this connector or you can remove this whole little upper module here so if you put a screwdriver in the gap here okay you can just prise this little module out okay right, and that will come out with all the all the wires if we pull them out of their little location and this may be easier okay okay and that just moves to the side we can then lift out this now this little this is the microphone i believe that, so when you're on the phone you can hear people can hear you and that's held in by these three springs around the side here so you have to push those back okay and that will release this microphone and then we should okay then you've got to remove this connector and you need to push not on the top here because that doesn't seem to have any effect you need to push in the slot here okay and pull there and that pulls out so you can see where i've done that there that's where you need to push and that should remove that's most of the electronics well that part of the electronics there okay so we've now got this you can see then we've got another now for some reason mine didn't have screws it looked like it ought to have two more screws in but you'll see these are all the same as those other screws i've taken out so if you this may be easier than messing with yours is swapping the whole frame maybe not it's a shame land rover don't just sell the frame that we'll get left with here right okay now when we looked at it we've got these ones with one switch two switches three switches no switch we'll see it doesn't matter because you can swap the bits over from yours that's what we're going to try and get to that's that that should I'm, I'm missing one okay that should then lift out whoop, whoop, whoop. okay like so and that's got some lights and all your switches and everything in there okay now this is the main rear of your now we can take the sunglass holder -y bit out we know how to do that we did that before i did that i forget that, that that comes up doesn't it that's the mistake i made last time does it go up or down 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 okay i can release those okay he's still stuck there you go that goes down okay right now what you've got here is quite sneaky can you see these little orange clips in here in this little groove you've got these little orange clips now what you've got to do is you've got to like push on those and that and that and it should release it okay let me see if i can push that through okay and there's three of them in a row here there you go that's that one okay and and what that does is that releases this little pod um so you can see that that is the basic frame so i think all the basic frames are the same you can then swap the bits over you want but the thing to remember is that you must re retain the electronic components from your car so there you go that is overhead consoles how to strip them down how to do it and get your sunglass holders you destiny cut me off short you can do it good luck with that